Hi everyone, this is Camille with PMU Sign, and today I'm going to show you how to choose the order in which your clients fill their forms out. Um, for those of you that just have one form, you don't have to worry about this, but if you do have multiple forms and this is something you'll want to know how to do, that way if you ever need to just send one form individually, you can do that as well. So I'm going to go to forms here and then go to my forms. Okay, so this, these are old forms that I don't use anymore. I'm currently using these two forms here. And as you can see, if I hover over this little button, it says form linked to consent and release form. That means that the first form my clients are going to fill out is the medical history form. And then if I hover over consent and release form, it says form linked from, and this means that it's linked from my medical history form. So they're going to go in order of medical history and then consent. This is just my preference, and I like them to fill out the medical history form first. Now I'm going to show you when I click on this form here, you can always change the order in which your clients fill them out. Um, again, this is all just based on preference. So if you have a form and you want your next form to be, let's say, your old medical history form or the consent and release, whichever form you want to come next when your clients are filling their forms out online, on their phone, on their desktop, whichever it is, you can choose that here. Now let's say you don't want them to fill out the next form. So maybe you have a client come in and it's their annual touch-up and your insurance only requires them to fill out, fill out an updated medical history form. In that case, you can just say no next form, click save, and then you can copy that link and send it to your client. And then I'm going to show you, so I'm going to go back to my forms just so you guys understand what that means to have your forms linked. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click this downward arrow and I'm going to click view form. Again, I like to have, to have them fill out medical history and then consent. So I'm going to go to view form. It's going to pull this up. Now I'm just going to fill in my name here just so you guys can get an idea. This is my medical history. They can choose anything that applies to them. Do a little signature here. Do the date and you do have to fill out everything that has an asterisk sign if they don't fill something out then it will not let them submit the form so this is really important and it's only things that have the asterisk sign which you can choose okay so I'm going to click submit the form is saving Okay, and then next you're going to see consent and release form. So as I said, I like people to fill out medical history and then consent and release. And then they'll go down here, sign, and click submit. So this is just an example so you, so you guys can see what it means to link or unlink your forms. Another little tip too, you don't actually have to go into the form and edit where it's linked from. Let's say you have a client and all you need them to fill out is your consent and release form again. You can just click here copy URL and say unlinked and unlinked means that all they're going to get is just this form and it's not going to be linked to something else. So that's just a tip for anyone that likes their clients to fill out one specific form when they come back for a touch up um, or anytime in the near future.